Welcome to Sparkles College. My name is Kandil Raba and today we are going to learn how to choose a research topic. Before exploring the details, let me tell you that choosing a research topic is not a 5 minute process. I will suggest to you that intelligent investment of proper time for choosing a workable research topic is far better than being hasty and seeing your research work being failed and then investing even more time to do that all again. Choosing your research topic is first but the most critical step to ensure that your research is going to achieve success. You may need your research work as a part of your degree program or you may be a researcher whose research work is going to contribute in the academic domain. In this video, I am going to teach you a very easy method to choose a workable research topic. We will start from understanding an example. That example will help us to devise the method. And then, after understanding the method, we are going to check how to apply that method to use it for the selection of a workable research topic. So let us check the example very first. We all have some goals in our daily life. It is as simple as getting some products or some services for our need. However, we must know the right direction that will help us to get our goal with success. And to determine the right direction, we must know what is or destination of interest. For the given example of attaining some products and services, we must know what is the destination that is going to give our desired products and services with success. Along with this, we also need to know that why our selected destination of interest is worth. Also, we must know how we are going to reach there with the availability of required resources and the time limitation. Same like our daily goals, we also have a goal while doing our research work. It is the attainment of a degree if uh, you are a student and acceptance of the research paper if you are a researcher. And your research topic is what that determines the direction for the attainment of this goal. Now, getting on the wrong direction means selecting the research topic wrongly can cause your research to be stuck or making a confused selection of the research topic or a confused direction may cause failure of a good idea. However, selecting the research topic rightly is sure to give you the desired success. So, for making sure that your research topic is workable, you must know three things that are what, why, and how. Now, let's check how this example has devised our easy method for the selection of a workable research topic. We have come to know WWH formula. This means while selecting your research topic, you must know the answer to three questions. This starts with what is your interest? For the selection of a workable and right research topic, you must know your interest. However, your topic of interest must be within the context of the subject you are writing. It is related to your degree program. It can be the subject of the journal as a researcher you are writing the paper for. Next, you must know the answer to the second question that is why your selected topic of interest is worth. Is it really contributive to the academic domain? 
is it really going to benefit to the targeted audience or the people who are going to read it finally you must know how to carry out that research this means you must be aware about the resources available the resources include the data that will help you to carry out the research if the data is available within the required time frame to complete the research and if there is a possible methodology that will help to produce the expected results to make your research a contributive effort in the academic domain after seeing our method now we are going to understand how we can use it in this example we are taking teleworking and firms performance as a topic of our interest let me tell you one more thing this topic of interest must be according to the context of the subject for example our selected topic of interest teleworking and firm performance can be within the context of subject that is business psychology management or behavioral sciences however the focus of the variable or what we are going to research under the umbrella of selected topic can be different according to different subjects for example if we are exploring this topic under the psychology domain then our focus must be the behavioral or psychological traits of employees that is under the impact of teleworking and then how these changed behavior or psychological traits have caused any impact on the performance of the firm after selecting your topic of interest you must do some good research during this research you have to go through some previous papers within the same domain of your selected topic of interest you should read the research gap the applied methodology and what directions the study have given to the future study by doing so you will be able to find out that what contribution your study is going to make in that academic domain for our example let's say that we have found there is a need of quantitative data analysis so we should cover this research gap and this will make our research contributive and also it will add originality in our research however we must note one more thing here that this part of selecting the research topic might be different for a research based on master's level degree program or phd level degree program In simple wordings at master's level you apply the known methodologies and techniques to conduct your research however at phd level you are provided with more flexibility to experiment with the known techniques and methodology to devise some new techniques also phd level research is much deeper as compared to the master's level research in other wordings the contributive scope of a phd level research is much wider as compared to the master's level research Lastly you have to confirm if the required data for the research is available or not you can do a check to make sure if the required data is available via online resources or by conducting a manual process of data collection In this example we can select a multinational firm or some good number of small firms that have applied teleworking as their work strategy for developing a case study within longitudinal time horizon in this example we can see that selecting a workable research topic does about 50% for of our research proposal Now let's summarize our discussion. We have learned that for achieving success of our research, we must choose a workable research topic. Here is a checklist to summarize what is necessary to select a workable research topic. It includes what is your interest? Why is that worth
and how it can be done. And don't forget your interest must be according to the context of subject you are doing your research for. Also you should make sure that the selected research topic is worth to contribute in the academic domain. And the most important, you should need to check out if the required resources such as data are available within the given time frame. Thanks for watching this video. If it was helpful for you, please do subscribe this channel, switch on the notification to stay updated and don't forget to like and share.